Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today I want to try to do something that I saw. I mean, it's been on my mind. Um, this is from Paper and Lux. She posted this and then it was posted on the Cricut website. I mean, it's just this beautiful piece that she did. It's a photo, um, it's a shadow box with um, different colors of butterflies in various sizes and in a heart shape. And I think she did it for Pride Week. Um, I just, it's just everything beautiful about this project. Um, anyway, so I looked on the site. She's not selling this. This was, I guess, um, something that was commissioned for her to do. And so I'm going to try to recreate it. Um, I've cut all the pieces. So I'm going to show you what I did in design space and we'll see how well it turns out. <laughs> so keep this in mind. It's this heart shape in, in a photo frame shadow box. All right. So let's go to design space. So what I did is you want to get your own shadow box, okay? And you want to create um, the size for it. So the frame that I have is this one. I don't know if you can see it, okay? All right, so the frame, the outside is, it's a 12 by 12. So first step is let's do our 12 by 12, which I think is this. Oh no, that's the inside, okay. So let's, just, I always like to see what everything looks like so that I can size it. So we're going to make this 12 by 12. So let's go up to the size. Okay. So this goes all the way in the back. Okay. So arrange, send to the back. We're not going to cut it, right? It's just there to give us um, sizing. Okay. So the way this works is this is all the way in the back. Then I measured the actual inside. So the inside from um, the inside uh, edge of the photo frame. So it's like the, I don't know how to describe it, but it's that cardstock piece on the inside. So I measured that. That's 10 and a quarter um, and it's a square. So I bring in your square, right? So create that, create whatever size that you have. Create it all so that you can see what it looks like, right? So this one, go up here and change it to 10 and a quarter. Assuming you got this, I got this on Amazon. So this is probably the right size for everyone if you're doing a 12 by 12, okay? So this is the inside. Then there's the actual opening of, um, well, actually, hold on. Let me see. I think I just created that. Give me a second. This project has been in the works for a while. I just haven't had a chance to finish it. Oh, so I created this. So this, what I measured on the inside, let me show you. So this is the shadow box. So I measured the inside. The inside is 10 and a quarter, 10 and a quarter this way, 10 and a quarter this way. So that's that yellow-ish thing that you see in there. So I created this. I want to create a square on the inside of this. So what I did is, let's see how, how big my square is. So my square then, the inside, sorry. I'm like trying to figure out like what, I, what did I do originally? Um, let's see. So the inside is six and a half maybe. Okay. So this is 10 and a quarter. I want to create that inside, right? Oh, duh. I could just do it right here. I don't know why I didn't do that. Um, so it's this layer, this layer. Let's look at this. Oh, I kept it the same. Okay. All right. So let's bring in another square because we want to cut out the middle. So this is going to be white on white, which I kind of like that look too. So let's bring this in and this is going to be up to you how big you want it, how big you want that heart, that open area to be. Okay. I'm making a different color just so that we can see it. Now I would also use better numbers like I wouldn't use 7.889. <laughs> I might use 7.75 just so that you can recreate this easily. If you didn't like it, you want to make some changes, whatever. So let's say you liked the edges of this, like you want it thinner over here. I made it thicker so you can kind of see, but 
we can do it this way. So let's change this to 7.75, okay? Then what you wanna do is you wanna grab the two items, the two squares, and you wanna to go to align and center. Once you have it centered, then you wanna grab the two and slice. This will give you, oops, in a second, this will give you this sheet, okay? So it gives you that frame and then the heart's gonna go in the middle right here. All right, so we've created that frame. Now what you wanna do is, so let's get rid of these two things because we don't need this, right? Now, let's duplicate this. Oops, sorry, I'm hitting the wrong button. All right, let's duplicate it. And we'll just bring it down here, okay? Um, let's bring in a heart. Now, I've always had an issue with the heart and design space. It's not, like I like mine shorter and fatter. <laughs> so I always unlock my heart and kind of start messing with it. Like I kind of like it more like full. <laughs> okay, so let's say you like that, right? So if you, once you like the shape, lock it, and now that way we can make it bigger and smaller as much as we want, okay? Okay, so the way that, and I'll bring it back so you can see, the heart goes all the way to the edge. So this is, again, totally up to how you wanna do it. If you want some space, if you don't want space, um, but just keep in mind, this is what we're recreating. So we created this white edge already, and now we're gonna create this middle part, okay? So let's go back to design space. So let's say that you do wanna go almost all the way to the edge, okay? So and that's close. No, that's too much. So let's make this just a little bit smaller. Okay, now what you wanna do is let's grab these two things and let's center this as well. So go to align, center. Okay, so now that it's centered, this is what you wanna do, okay? We wanna grab the border and go to contour and hide all. We want a solid sheet, okay? Then we're gonna grab the heart. Oops, hold on. Grab the heart. Now I have the maker, so this is what I'm going to do. Hopefully you have the maker as well. I'm going to deboss, deboss. So what happens is it's going to press down, and I don't think that you can see it on here, but if you follow me on Instagram, actually I think you can kind of see it a little bit. That's gonna give me that template so that I can line up my butterflies beautifully. Because if you look at the, the original, I mean, it's a perfect heart-shaped um, full of butterflies, right? But look at this line, it's beautiful. It doesn't matter what size butterfly, it's a beautiful heart, like perfect. So I, ha I have a feeling that it must have been some sort of template. I'm Like I said, I have no idea how she did it, but this is how I would go about doing it. Um, so let's go back to design space. So. I'm gonna deboss this because I don't want it inked because I don't want it to show at all. It's just gonna be an imprint on my paper so that I have a guide, right? So since I um, so I clicked on the heart and you can always do it up here too. So here's my heart, right? I have it as a deboss, so it's not gonna cut. It's just gonna press down and give me that outline. So what you wanna do now is it's on this piece of paper. You need to grab the heart and the piece of paper and attach it. Because if you don't attach it, it's not gonna um, give you this outline exactly where we want it, the way it is lined up now. If you didn't attach it, it will randomly deboss somewhere on some sheet of paper. <laughs> okay, so you want it on here. We've recreated this. Okay, so the only thing that's left are the butterflies, okay? So what I did was I went into images and let's type in butterfly to see all the different ones that we can do. Now what I like is that 
these get really small. I want to say my smallest butterfly is like three quarters of an inch. I mean, it's so tiny. Um, so the one that I picked, which I don't even remember which one I picked, but the one that I picked had antennas. And I would say the antennas are missing from about 85% of my butterflies. <laughs> so, um, and I'm okay with not having antennas because look, this butterfly doesn't have it, right? So you can keep it on. Let's say you like this shape. So let's say you like this shape or you like this one. Let's just insert both of them so that you can see what, what you would do next. Okay, where are my butterflies? Okay, they're coming in. It's still thinking. Okay, so here are my butterflies. Let's say you like this one, right? But we want a solid one because this cut, this intricate cut at 0.75, you're gonna have just jacked up cardstock. So go to contour and just click hide all. And it's gonna get rid of all those little things and give you a solid butterfly, right? Okay, so let's say you like this one. The biggest one that I have is 1.3 so just to show you kind of on camera what that looks like my biggest one is like this it's still I mean it's I don't know it sounds big to me but it's still pretty small but you only want a handful of these so what you want to do is you want to create the butterflies by color okay so here's the first one it's that's way too big right let's say it's and you the way you're gonna size it is this is to the correct size so if you put this butterfly down I mean, this thing would fill up with like 10 butterflies, right? And you saw on the other one, there's like, I don't know, 50 butterflies. So make your biggest one, like what, whatever size you want. So like, let's say you like the way that looks. So that's gonna be your biggest one, okay? So move it over here. I would duplicate it. Make it a little bit smaller. Then I would duplicate that, make it a little bit smaller. So you want each copy to be just a little bit smaller than the last, because we already know this is the biggest size that we want it, okay? Um, and if you look at the other one, I mean, you don't want a lot of the big ones because that would take away from the piece. It's a big one here and there, and then a bunch of small, like middle-sized ones, okay? So this is 0.88, let's duplicate that, let's make one that is 0.8 and you can go up here oh i'm 0.79 is pretty good to me all right let's duplicate that and let's make one more that's 0.75 okay just to give it a little bit of a difference okay so now that you have yours what you want to do is and we're doing one color at one time okay Let's duplicate this so that you're gonna have two big ones. And these are so tiny, they're not gonna take up that much room on cardstock. So I would rather, um, on my initial cut, have more butterflies than I need than to have to go back and recut some. And like I said, it's not gonna take up a lot of room because I can show you right now. So let's see, we want this frame this 12 by 12 is the one we don't need. Okay, so I'm gonna delete it just for a second because I'm gonna show you the make it screen just so that you can see what I'm talking about. All right, so this is the frame, right? Um, oh, these are the two frames because we have two, two sets going on right now, right? But look at the, I mean, we don't need this heart because this heart was just a copy, but look at how small the butterflies are, okay? This right here, if you look, it says, deboss and cut. So it's gonna cut the paper for you exactly to that size to fit in our shadow box. And then it's gonna tell you to get your deboss uh, tool out and it's gonna deboss this into this paper at exactly this point so it's totally centered for us. And then look at the other colors. See, it's only taking up two inches by 12. I would, like I said, I would rather overcut the number of butterflies then to finish it and then go back and cut like four more of this color and three more of this color okay all right so let's go back let's cancel i wanted to prove my point so that <laughs> so that you'll create this many butterflies even though it may seem like overkill um and some might rip 
or some might rip when you take it off the mat. So it's just really, I, like I said, I would rather overdo it um, than have to go back. Okay, so now we have this. Then what I would do is I would duplicate the middle ones, the smaller ones, right? So let's grab those and duplicate. So I think that this is enough. So what I would do now is I would see how I group them by sets. So here's one set, I'm gonna duplicate it. And once it duplicates, we'll move it down a little bit. Okay, so this one I'm going to make yellow. Okay, then I'm gonna duplicate this one again. It doesn't matter which set you duplicate. Once it duplicates, move it over and then change your color. And then since this one's already highlighted, you could just hit duplicate again. It will duplicate in purple, but it doesn't matter because we'll just move that one down and change the color. So here's our duplicate copy of the however many butterflies, right? It's in purple. We don't want it purple because we already have it in purple. Let's do it in light purple. And then you're gonna duplicate again, right? You're gonna do all your colors. So I'm gonna delete some of these just so that you can kind of see what the make it screen looks like. Now, I'm also doing a name. So I created an offset because I think I wanna do, I really like the, the purple that I'm gonna use. So I think I'm gonna do the purple, the top layer in purple and then like a gold in the back just to kind of keep it pale but different. Um, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so I'm going to delete everything. I'm gonna, let's look at this butterfly though. If you really like this butterfly, which I do like, but we don't need the two layers, right? So you could on here in the right-hand side panel, you could either do, click on this and delete it. That would leave you just this layer, or you can grab this butterfly and weld it. I mean, it's both the same number of steps, but it. it it achieves the same thing. It gives you one layer, right? And if you feel like this one's kind of like too high, um, you can, you know, with butterflies, you can change the size of this, change the proportions of it. So unlock it. Let's not make it so tall, but make it more like, see, we could do it like this. So it feels more, it's not quite as wide as this. This one feels like it's, it's chubby and short, but this one feels more medium, right? Once you like it, lock it, and then now make your biggest one and then keep duplicating and make it smaller and smaller and smaller, okay? All right, so now that we have that and I showed you that, let's delete that. Um, let's actually delete everything here on from the old one. And I'm gonna keep both sets of butterflies just so that you can kind of see how many butterflies, like how much space it's taking up. This is These butterflies are small. So here is the outer frame. Here is the middle that gives you the template of how to place your butterflies so that you have that beautiful, um, perfect shaped heart. Here's one color that I forgot to change, so it's showing up as black. But see, I mean, th this is a lot of butterflies and it's not even taking up two by 12 piece. So what I did was I did cut out strips to cut it because that way the rest of the paper doesn't get ruined because it's on the sticky mat and then when you pull it off, you might have some curling or whatever. I just cut off my strips knowing that the strip was gonna be enough to get it. So, and you can see all the different ones. I mean, they're, they don't take up that much room. Now, the top layer, if you wanna, I'm gonna go back to this one. 
You see how this top layer has more butterflies? So I would just go back, if you wanna do it exactly like this, or if you wanna add another color, you could do that. So instead of it just being pink, it could be a darker pink and a lighter pink, then you can keep the same amount of butterflies. But this bottom part, this dark purple, is only like four butterflies. But again, I just kept it at however many I had, but what I did do differently is for the top, I did just made a copy of, I don't know, like five butterflies and added it to it. So you see like all of these are the same, but this one has a few more butterflies. And I, what I did was I made copies of the smaller ones. I don't want more than the three big butterflies. So that's what I did for this top layer. Um, and that's it. So the other thing is because these butterflies are so small, we could have debossed down the middle so it's easier for you to fold the butterflies in half. But I just felt like they were so small that I just used a ruler, I stuck it down the middle of the butterfly and then folded my butterfly in half because we could have easily done it with this. And I'll show you what that looks like. So let's say we have this butterfly, okay? and I am going to make it bigger so that I can see what I'm doing. Now, you might wanna use this on another project. On this one, I don't recommend it, but I wanna show you how to do it um, because sometimes you, it would be nicer to have that crease there so that it's perfectly down the middle. So what you wanna do is you wanna get a shape, you wanna get your, um, actually, I wonder if you can do the score line. Hold on, let's look at this. So here's the score line. And maybe I don't want it to be a score line. I'm gonna see if, let's see what it says over here. You know what? I'm not really sure what, what the score line, which tool it's gonna use. So let's attach it for now. And let's go to our Make It screen just to see exactly how we would do this. So we're going on an adventure. <laughs> um, all right, here we go. Oh, so it's score, okay. So if you don't have the score, if you have the score tool, you can just use the score line and you see how it's gonna score down the middle. We, I mean, obviously we still need to edit this to make it only like in this shape, um, but if you don't want to use the score tool, you know that we could do deboss and you can use the deboss tool, which is the one that I have. Um, I believe I have a score tool. I would need to double check. So let's look at this at the score line first. So what you should do is you should make that score line fit perfectly for your butterfly. So as soon as it comes back, are we back? Where's all my stuff? Um, it's not loading. Okay, here we go. Um, let's zoom back in because I can't see. <laughs> okay, so grab your line. Okay, first you need to detach so that we can make edits to this line, okay? And I would, if you were to do this on the project, what I would do is do your first butterfly and then duplicate. Um, that way everything's already done on on the butterfly. Okay, so we're gonna grab here and we're gonna resize it. To here, okay. Then what you can do is you can grab the two items and go to align. And we want this to be center horizontally. So it's scooted over, our line scooted over, and it's perfectly in the middle. So you can grab the two now and then attach. That's if you wanna score it, okay? Now let's, I'm gonna duplicate it. And let's say you don't wanna score it, but you want to deboss it. Then let's look at this score line. So this one, I'm gonna click on the score line and see if I can change it. I can, I can change it to deboss. Okay, so deboss, what happens is it's not a dotted line. So if you saw the score line, the score line is like a dotted line. 
Um, deboss is just straight down, which I kind of like for this instance because it's going to help you fold that butterfly. So I would, let's see, yep, and it's already attached, so that's how I would do it. All right, okay, I think we are done. I'll see you on the next video because I have it all cut right here. There's like a hundred butterflies. <laughs> Check it out on my Instagram. I'm gonna have more pictures and you can see how I'm folding them. Um, and if you have any comments or questions, please post it on YouTube, Instagram, or Facebook. And then you can also send me a message or an email, I mean, at an, A-N, at theuselesscrafter.com for you know your special projects that you'd like me to do specific to your um, specifications. So height, color, whatever it is, I can walk you through it. I'll video it like this, and then you can follow along. And someone else who might want to do something similar would um, appreciate the, the project as well. So I think it's a great learning experience because you can't just go in and make it. You have to, like, you can't just hit the button, make it, right? And then everything that I did is already transferred over. Nope. You need to actually open up your design space, follow along, and recreate this project. That is the only way that you're going to end up making it is if you recreate it. So I feel like when you're recreating it and listening to me and watching it too, um, to your exact project, to your name, to your font, all that stuff, that you'll actually learn how to do it. And you'll take that and apply it to something else and make adjustments and really become a better crafter. And then together, you and I, you're gonna have another idea and you're gonna help me grow as well. Like this is a totally learning experience for me um, on how to do this project. I'm taking a guess at how I, you know, this is how I, I am doing it. Um, but if you have another suggestion, I would totally be open to it. And I would recreate it if I feel like it's a good suggestion. <laughs> Cause not all suggestions are good, right? <laughs> okay. Thanks guys. Have a great day.